Okay, everyone. So, about five hours ago, you know, we were told that the state of play is supposed to unveil the gameplay trailer for Horizon Forbidden West started. Five hours later, here we are on this still. <sighs> what were they thinking? It's like, I... <laughs> Before starting this recording right now, which I'm just gonna put up, put on immediately after we see this and everything, it's like, yeah, you just show the scenery here, what you worked on and everything, which I admit, it looks great. It looks beautiful and everything. You've guys done amazing work. Gorilla Games, great. I don't care at this point. You, you let, you make this go on for five hours just all this scenery it's like no no now this is the problem with uh video games in this day and age just recently where they focus so much on the graphic look how many polygons and pixels we got there lighting effects look, look at the beautiful lighting and the clouds and the and the everything the contrast and whatnot the, look at how incredible the resolution looks like great When's the movie? That's the issue here. Games are becoming more cinematic here to the point where... Okay, look. In a video game, you... Despite, you know, the, the arrangement of two words, the game takes priority. It's like, okay, yeah, look. It looks incredible. There have been games recently that look incredible. They are a sight to behold. Just beautiful lighting, the day and night cycle, the weather effects and such. It's all the, the, the water and everything. It's beautiful. But the gameplay tends to suck at times. The game or the gameplay is just a letdown here. Or just it's no longer it's just not worth it here. Like there's not much to do in this world. Like this in beautiful scene, it's a beautiful scene, it just loses its appeal very fast if there's nothing really to do in it. Or, that's the thing. Uh, in when it comes to video games, you focus on gameplay, you focus on weapons, weapons, combat, enemy AI, everything. How the scenery, the foliage, all this, that's kind of secondary. Make sure you... Uh, make... Second, secondary stuff like that here. You, you do all this. It's great. And it's beautiful. But that's good if I'm watching a movie here. Make a movie. You Use this stuff to make a movie here. I like to see the story and stuff like that. But we care about games, the gameplay, in a video game. Uh, and, and the chat seems to agree with me, by the way, here. I'm watching this, this on the live stream here, and my god, the chat. Many other people have been waiting here for who knows how long. I I was there when I started here. It's like, okay, I can't wait to see. Or right, looking, yeah, they've mostly been showing areas here, slowly unveiling different parts. It looks great. It looks beautiful. You guys did a lot of work. You're, but, like in reality, like in most uh, large open world games, it lost its appeal of like that very quickly it's like all right it looks great where is everything we see plants animals this background noise here let me put it on a lot of background noise and stuff but hey where are the people where are the people walking around where are the machines where's anything I'm really getting burned out on these open world games here. Like, you got so much. I prefer more, like, the sem semi-open world to, like, the linear games that feel like they're pretty open, but they're not. Uh-oh. All right, speeding up here, which means we're starting. Good. There's so... M All right, they sped up here. We're seeing a lot of areas now. We They've already shown this thing over and over the past. Five hours, four hours, who knows? Yeah, four something hours, I don't care. It's been a while. I just want the gameplay. Show me Aloy. Show me the bow. Show me, show her fighting tribesmen and, and local robots of the California region. Show me all that. 
zoom. Yeah, we saw the plant life or something like that. All right, here we are. Finally, now we're getting a move on. Why did you guys take this long? I mean, who who thought it was a good idea? All right. Finally, yes, continue, yes. Hi everyone, my name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, with all the in-game engine stuff, show us gameplay. And since then, the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. All right, look, I get you want to talk to people and express all the hard work you've done. But have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West. Yeah, over and, and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Almost 14 minutes of gameplay captured on Now you started for uh, four, you yeah, 14 minutes. minutes of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. And you don't have to wait any longer. Let's get right to it. Yeah, why do you make why do you make us wait that long? <sighs> capture and PS mix of gameplay and in-game cinematics, yeah. So the in in Original game, the in-game cinematics were pretty, and gameplay was the same thing. This guy's Osram. Aloy. Easy, easy. It's okay. You're safe now. All right, nice new outfit here. But wait, what? I, I want to know what happened to Aloy's shield weave outfit. Wait, what happened? Where's Erend? Erend. Still out there. What was that? Uh, Raiders got machines on their side. Claw Striders. Claw Striders. You should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him? No, I. You're injured. I have to. Uh, don't worry about me. All right, it, it looks beautiful here. Her hair, her hair, everything like that. Okay. The clothes on his back and everything. Just him looking for the water. All right, here we go. And we transition to gameplay here. Looks like it. Yeah. Again, the, yeah. The transition right here. The boat. The boats appeared. So yeah, kind of uh, almost got an uncharted feel to it here with a with a transition from gameplay to in game, okay. full cutscenes. <laughs> Look, yeah, it looks incredible. So, any idea where she is? People who live in, in like, uh, San Francisco or Cali anywhere in California? Uh -oh. Alright, okay. Oh, yeah, the claw strider. Yeah, these raptors. Hephaest, are these, like, these local here or something Hephaest is made? Oh, I love those like bus saws. Whoa, a rider. Oh, -ho! Silas has taught these guys well. Riding machines. Silas taught them well. Okay, we got the UI and everything. All right, pretty identical. We got like the highlighting the weaknesses. Oh, that's a new thing. That's brand new. The smoke bomb there. Okay, just like an echolocation thing going on here that also drags, a, that also bring, attracts more cloth riders. Nice jump. Yeah, her 
Oh, we got the climbing area. It's like it's still. All right. These guys won't give up. Nope. Is that? All right. The, the yellow instead of, instead of the like some sort of markers, like handholds being yellow you know, handholds being like drawn in by other tribe member. It's her focus, telling her what, uh, uh, highlighting where the handholds are. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful right here. Look at all this. The underwater life here, it's like we knew it was coming, but... Yeah, Aloy, we could not go underwater in the first game, but now look at all this. Yeah, that's one of the... That's, a, that's one of the... The gators here that's designed to clean up the water. Look at all the fish, all the fish here and everything. We got a scarab pharobot right there. Oh, the, we, there was, uh, yeah, wow. That's not, that doesn't sound good. Oh, we got. I have friends, okay? Oh, just the ones you yeah. Saw. When they come looking for me, there's gonna be trouble. No, oh, stay down, Aloy. Uh, okay, yeah, the one from the trailers here. Oh, that was close. Okay, yeah, that's way too many people. Ho ho! So you gotta try to save him. Oh, Aaron, yeah. But what are they doing all the way over here? Here, the, the Osram and the Karja, all the way here. They. Tremor tusk? <laughs> so they're called, huh? Loot the camp. Make it look like bandits were here. Then we'll head for the old bridge and meet up with the others. So yeah, they're making it look like it's Yeah. Got it. This must be Aaron's camp. The raiders made short work of it. They're not raiders here. Ooh. Wow, uh, racist. No, they're not raiders here. They're making it look like it was raiders. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait, you can highlight the head as well? Interesting. Oh, there's a big guy. Whoa! Oh, ooh! You know, I, I, do, I do like Aloy's new clothes here. Almost, almost like she's from, she's from Hawaii now, actually. I don't know why I thought that. What? What the? All right, a new, a new staff with some new tricks. Oh, ho. yeah, she learned a few things. Back to the hunt. You see, you see those jeans on the Sobek, I see. Raiders said they were heading for the old bridge. Maybe I can cut them off. Better get to higher ground. Again, scenery looks beautiful, okay, but I care more about the gameplay and what I'm seeing so far. It's a nice evolution of the gameplay. Oh, look what she's walking on. Looks like I think it was broken. Okay, rope arrow. Rope arrow grappling hook. The 
Golden Gate Bridge? I think I know a way to get there first. Ooh, hacking time! An energy parachute? She really has been doing a lot of experimentation and research. Yep, there it is. Classic hacking maneuver. Yes, now it's yours. I mean, you're, you're right in a raptor. On a raptor man. That's awesome. Go Dinobot. Helps on the way, Aaron. Oh, the, the plant's right there. They're spreading. The thing that never spread that far, but still. Nice expression right there. Yeah, I mean, she knows. Tremor Tosk. She knew that. She had. I like how she did those, those, those like tubes, that machine, whatever, just rains. Oh, wow. Weapon wheels back, all right. Oh, no, okay, explosive, full of spear. All right, this has got to be one of this. It, this clearly isn't for terraforming. It's, it can be for terraforming. It's got. It's, it's more like the uh, thunder thunder jaw. Sure. What the hell did you, what the hell was that thing? Okay. Nah, oh, that just looks like the little Sonic ones. Oh. Okay, you got the cannon? Look at this, it's got a freaking energy cannon. And they're dead. Okay, a nice energy can here, but clearly not as powerful as an actual, like, projectile weapon. Yep. Look at that, that, that's amazing right there. Okay. Oh, Tremor, that's why it's called Tremor Tusk. Shoot the belly. Obviously, these, this thing had a part to play in the ecosystem reconstruction, but it was militarized by Hephaestus, no doubt, or maybe these guys. Killer Hephaestus. Oh, I gotta I got wonder what, what it did. Uh, you bet. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. <laughs> so this time, I have a present for you. Oh. <laughs> I found it in. You found what? Oh, really? Before the Raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. Oh, he's got to focus now, too. All right, a map of the Earth. Look, okay, look at California. That's California now. Holy crap. Uh oh. Oh boy, yeah. Yeah. That is almost here. Let's do yeah, folk. Yeah. Clearly from the cradle facility here, because there were so many focuses there. So I was I was I really hoping that was the case. Like So there you have it. The first
first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. Beautiful. Look great. The gameplay looked good. We are. The advancement of gameplay was also incredible. Like some like that was a crap energy shield to use the parachute. To spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, narrative director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future. We know that. A global catastrophe. Wait, an earthquake so happened. The earthquake happened in uh, no California. A dominant species. Giant, animal-like machines now roam the land, and they are extremely dangerous. Without... Machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. Yeah, now we got this. A strange this. red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do yeah, that, blight. she and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend, Aaron, into the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece of technology. Aaron encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. Ten okay. They're vicious fighters, but even worse, they've acquired the power of the override machine. So they are raiders. To rescue Aaron, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. Mm -hmm. that, was a bit, that was a good idea. Speeds up climbing and can get you quickly out of trouble. A whole craft, yeah. The and shield the, wing allows the you shield to wing. descend from great heights. We gotta so craft some of this, don't we? Off. I'm pretty sure gonna, we gotta to craft some of these skills, some of these equipment. As as you like. Yeah, like. Take your time to plan a path around amphibious machines, or boost through strong underwater currents. And to speed up overland travel, a variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat so don't we have to go to crater facility in order to get the means to do that with a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice for close range combat the spear is an excellent option always back there's a range of combos that have different uses and effects valor surges add a unique set of special abilities one of which can be used to knock back nearby enemies nice the spear can be charged to create well, that hammer looks like it's look, look, that, that hammer stronger enemies a wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. Yeah. Slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Uh, okay, adhesive grenade. Arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. The sonic ones, yeah. A launcher that fires launcher. that explode on impact. Smoke bombs that temporarily Smoke bomb, that was a shock, yes. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons. Which how each of them strong that the, is that is compared to the uh the Kopesh's machine gun. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step maws in the water, yeah. even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous, and even more so when overridden by human rebels. And this is just we've what we've seen. Yeah, we've got... I can't wait to see more of the machines. Them ...in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power. And how that secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. And this is just one of the mysteries she will unravel as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. It's time nice to me. It okay, yeah. We will have more updates close to launch, and everyone here at Gorilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Exclusive, okay. For PS5 and PS4, obviously. Now, was this worth the waiting four hours? To get to? No, it was not. It was not worth it at all. Still, what we saw. It was incredible. It was it was incredible here. They clear they added more to gameplay. I like how instead of the yellow mark yellow markers to insinuate like handholds, which 
the in lore, the in game lore reason was that they were left by other tribes to hey, show climb this way, this part's climbable. Instead, you got the focus telling you where you can uh, grab on, grab on, and stuff like that here, or get handholds and such. Yes, we've got a hook, we've got a grappling hook, we got a little energy parachute. It's the, the bow, the bow and arrow, they're all pretty much the slingshot, the slingshot, everything. A few new weapons here, like this, like a spear, spikes, like a spear you can, you can send that explodes. A few new, um, a few new bits of ammo here, like a sticky grenade here, clearly, uh, based on the cryo bomb. Hmm. I don't know why they removed that. I mean, uh, actually, it's probably because, you know, in the area here, like, clearly, we see California is all nice, sunny. It's a beachside resort, basically. So that's a, there's not going to be any uh, robots that specialize in cooling the area. It's all about making it all tropical. And yeah, I love, of course, how we saw Aaron. He's got a focus now. I was wondering about that because we saw in the critical facility here, in, in the place that should have been the school, there was a bunch of focus. Aloy had access to that, so... so yeah, I was wondering, will she give some focus to people she, she trusts? Like, um, Aaron, or the king, or the sun king right there, he was, he was a good guy here. Anyone else? To be, or help to try to educate the Nora tribe or whoever? And it seems that, yeah. Yeah, he, he gave one. He, she's giving them to people she can trust, stuff like that. There's more lore here, I can't wait to see more. I'm sure this is a comic book. I, think, I hope they make a book, uh, a not a media tie-in book. That'd be great. So yeah, what we saw here, everything, the exploration done, and the cutscene transition between that and in and the in-game footage, very uncharted right there. It's almost seamless. You can sort of tell they uh, dip in quality, but it's beautiful. It's weird though that seeing the Osram tribe there. So what? Obviously, uh, the shadow, the, the card, the Sun King, decided to listen to Aloy, and he, because he trusts Aloy, attach some of the, some of the Othram to go to San Francisco and retrieve what? That was a, that's a long-ass journey. They had to go through the Forbidden West, because, you know, the area where it's like no man's, like, no man's land, uh, basically Death Valley. <laughs> now we've got, of course, these abandoned, tri a raider tribe, Offshoot from another from a local tribe. Okay, there's that here. How many tribes do we have in San Francisco? Because let's see, in um so we had the Nora, the Karja, the Othram, the Banuk. I'm pretty sure there was another tribe as well. I'm not I'm not counting the Shadow Karja or the you know the band camps, those are all yeah. But there was I think there was one more. Oh well. So yeah, we got all those guys here, and uh, I just can't wait to see how much has changed here. What we saw in gameplay, it was great. The UI, perfect, like, refinement of the original. The weapon wheel looked great. So they kept, they kept what worked and just refined it a bit here. They didn't, they did not, they did not fix what was broken. I applaud them for that. They added some new tech. I, we clearly had some crafting going on here. I'm very curious to know what happened to, like, some of Aloy's old weapons and technology. Like, for example, the Shadow Weave suit. I really, really, really hate when, when sequel games do this here, where we spent all this time getting the ultimate suit here. And in the sequel, it's gone. It's like... Give me an explanation. Give me an, expl give me an explanation as to why it's gone. Because, you know, in Brotherhood, as, as, as Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, we got an explanation as to uh, why Ezio lost the armor of Altair. We saw it. We went back for it, which means I wonder why, why he didn't have it on in Revelations. Moving on before I question that, but you get the idea. What happened to the shadow, we the shield weave suit here? Did it run out of power? Give me an explanation game. Give me a log here that says, all right, so I tried to repair it, but without the facilities, I there's nothing I can do. So I, yeah, so Aloy hanged it up. I don't know. Also, I like, I like Aloy's new, uh, new outfit here with the green. I'm not sure I'm going to change it here, but how'd she get it? 
clearly she got it from the local tribe she's on good terms with. Maybe they saved her and gave and after, and gave her their own set of clothes after hers was ruined. Oh, that's just so, so very much. Everyone, thank you for watching. Oh, I can't. I would like to say I can't wait for this game, but I will wait and I Yeah. I mean I'll probably buy a collector's edition if I if I get the chance. But I really I truly do do hope that Gorilla Games go back to playing kill to making kill zone because I wanna know what happened in that universe, but yeah, give us uh more horizon content here and other and like the more comic books, make a book. I'm all for that. I I read the comics that with uh oh boy the, the the lady that's now the head of the hunter's lodge yeah ah uh, so everyone thank you for watching as always kind of about you all thought i'm sorry for more videos till next time till next one um this next song logging out